Hey Keybros, what do you say or what do you know? How y'all doing? And uh, hey, I like to apologize. I haven't been posting a lot of videos lately because my wife is still in the hospital. But there's good news. Um, she's doing well. She, she When she went in, she was 84 pounds. And as of Sunday, she was at 91.8 ounces. And um, she's got her crazy personality back. And uh, so she's doing pretty good. Uh, in a day or two, she's going to be transferred to a rehab clinic. All right. And then they're just going to help her walk and all this other stuff. So when she comes back, um, she's going to be really good. And which is awesome because she's my soulmate and I love her. And uh, the only good and bad thing is if she quit smoking, I still smoke. And uh, so I'm going to have to come up a way to um, not let the smoke go upstairs. So, by, well, by trade, I'm an air conditioning heating technician. I'll come up with something because I don't want her to start smoking again and and in all reality I should try to quit but I'm like like all this all the time so uh, she's doing pretty good matter of fact here let's, let's bring up a video this is the doctor and this was last Friday and this is what when we asked him what exactly is going on um he told us, and let me find Vividius. Where is Vividius? This is it, okay. And, uh. Yeah, it was in an E. coli or an inner tract infection. It's like that blood that probably got in the bloodstream as a consequence. Oh, you yeah, start uh, this again. Uh, you turkey. Okay, good. So what you have is an E. coli or an tract infection. It's like that blood that probably got in the bloodstream as a consequence. Why you kept one high, laid the count one low. So as we now have problem putting in the antibiotics, things should improve. Laid the count should be starting to come the next day or three, so sometime through the weekend. Why you count should continue to decrease as it is doing. So uh, they got us involved just because the white count is high, the count is low. It's because of the infection. It's secondary. It's not the primary issue. It's not the key to lymphoma. Any other concerning kind of cancer issue now. We're not screening for any cancer, but this data has evolved because it was so high that E. coli explains the degree of elevation and the rate of change. So that's it. Okay, thank you. Okay, go ahead. Okay, and that is the video for that. And um, so she's doing good, no cancer, none of that crap. And uh, so we're going to have Crazy Carol back pretty soon. Next. I want to talk about hate. Just, just unsolicited hatred. Um, you know, I'm going to be 67 in August. And I was always taught <clears throat> to show respect. All right? And usually if you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. I mean, and I was wondering because all of you all are so cool. And I was, and, and uh, a couple of people asked me, well, how are you dealing with the uh, uh, morons who, uh, you know, the trolls? And I says, well, luckily, I don't have any. Well, I was uh, wrong. Um, today, I figured I'd go answer some comments and stuff. And this butthead shows up. And uh, it was one of the B3 videos, and he typed in, stinky plan. Well, you know what? I've been playing almost 55 years professionally. All right? I've toured the country. I've rode in limousines. And I've played with national acts. And I say to you, who are you to judge my playing? Let's see how well you play with psoriatic arthritis. And I would probably bet, even with my arthritis, I'll bury you under the table with my playing because that's when I play the best. So, you know what? Put up or shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Because this shit pisses me off. He jumped on a couple videos and nothing but bad shit. All right? I did a comparison of uh, the VR09 to a B3. 
he types in bullshit. You know, like, you know, this, this guy just hates to hate. I don't know, probably some little kid, because they have no respect for anybody, all right? And, uh, you know, this crap pisses me off, you know? I got decades of experience, and I try to pass it on. You know, nobody passed their, nobody passed their knowledge on to me. You know, everything I learned, I had to learn on my own. I, I had nobody saying, hey, you know what? If you want to try to do this, play it like this. I had to figure everything out on my own. And I'm giving you guys everything I know. And I got to listen to some punk. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not going to tolerate it. You know what I mean? I'm 100% Sicilian. And I'm going to say, you don't want to put me in a place where I get Sicilian. All right? Don't go there. All right? With that said... I'm sorry. I'm angry. I just I don't understand it. I I uh, I, I present everything to y'all. I make sure I answer all your comments. Sometimes I'm there for an hour answering comments. All right, but I read everything and I answer everything. You know, I, I'm doing the best I can. Eventually, I'm gonna get into more cameras, a better uh, uh, a better editing system, and all that stuff. And eventually, I'm going to try to make some better videos. I got some equipment coming in. I'm going to be doing some reviews. And I'm trying to make this the coolest channel I can make it. You know what I mean? So I'm sorry for going off on a rant. But I tell you, man, it's uncalled for. You know, I don't know why people got to be like this. And it just totally torched me off, man. So that's what's basically going on. Oh, I got another story to tell you. So Sunday. I'm in the hospital, I'm visiting my wife, and uh, we have a really good time. I brought her some Subway, and I bought her, brought her some pizza, and I brought her, bought her all type of goodies she wanted. And uh, so we had a really good visit, and I'm, wa I'm walking away from the hospital, and I see my car, and I'm thinking, that quarter panel don't look right. You know, because my eyesight, man, I only wear the bifocals at home, so like, I'm not that. Um... My, my eyesight ain't that great. So, but anyway, I get up close to my car. Someone backed into my car. You know, like six months or five months from now, the car is going to be paid off. Now I got a crinkled quarter panel. So all day yesterday, I I uh, contacted State Farm. Very cool. Um, um, my agent made me call the claims office. I I called in the claim. I went to the body shop and. Uh, the body shop's going to take my car in on um, uh, April 22nd, and they're going to keep it for six days. And then I got to come up with $500, that's my deductible, and then they said they're going to pay 80% of the car rental, because I'm going to need a car rental, because we only have one vehicle. So... Uh, so hopefully I don't go under that. I think on days I don't have to go anywhere. I think what I'll do is turn the car back in and uh, then have somebody drive me back to pick up the car when I need it. So that should save on the money. And uh, so, but that's that. And, uh, but I had, next thing, um, I'm having a blast on the Chrome EX. I loaded in the N50 sounds and you know what? I like those better than the Chrome sounds. The X50 sounds are great. So what we're going to do is we're going to have some fun. We're going to um, um, explore some of the programs. All right. And right now we're in Bank A. And uh, so let's have a little fun. And if you have a Chrome... Um, you can go to a site, uh, I think it's called Chrome Haven, and they have all types of free downloads, and the M50 was one of that. And when you load it in, it turns the whole keyboard into an M50. You get all new drum patterns, you got all new arpeggiator patterns, so, I mean, there's no trace of the EX sounds at all. And what I suggest you do is, uh, um... Back up your keyboard. Also, uh, save your global settings. That's two separate things. So when you save your programs and what your programs and your combis, that's one save. 
But if you have any special things going on, like maybe having a pedal control certain things, that's a global setting. You need to save that too. So there's two saves. All right, so make sure you do that first before you load in the M50 song. So I shut my mouth off. I apologize on the rant, but you know, I feel I'm, I'm within my right to complain. You know, I'm, I'm nice with everybody. Um, I'm giving you all that I know, what little there is. But, you know, I'm sharing, I'm contributing, you know, I'm paying it forward. Then I have to listen to this crap. Oh, well. Okay, the first song is um, M50 Piano. And I think my sustain pedal's hooked up. suitcase I don't know if you guys are catching the separation on it I used to have a suitcase so it's like okay and we'll see what switch oh that's switch two and knob one I don't know, it sounds more like a Rhodes to me. My Triton, I think, does. My Triton and my Numa 2X, I think they do the best role, sir. Ah, that's a bad role, sir. Uh, Cloud. some overdrive and uh, readjust the Leslie, but not bad. Uh, strings. Alright.
Not bad. I like those. These really sound great. <laughs> Uh, Bob brought up flute. Stereo voice pads. programs so uh, when you start to build uh, combis or sequencing you'd be able to pull these in into your sequence use that. Nylon guitar. Maybe put the combi and mix with some bells. Time machine. Um, that you know what? This sound is in my uh, Triton studio. I've noticed there's a couple of Triton studio sounds in here. SNH sync shot. Uh, stereo grand three way. two-way switch one. Thank you. 
are very nice pianos. You know what? But the <clears throat> um, out of all this stuff, like the Core, uh, Triton, uh, the Kronos, <clears throat> for grand piano, I never use any of those keyboards for grand. Um, my Asonic, I love the grand on my Asonic MR73. And uh, my uh, studio logic is just plain out ignorant. And, uh, but, you know what, if I had to, these would sound great. Uh, and uh, probably if I midi because my Asonic has wooden key action. It's got the wooden keys and it's graded piano action on it. That probably would sound great. Using the piano sample from the Asonic plus midi in this in. Oh, mamma mia, it could be. Could be like, mama, bippy lapa, whoopa, whoopa, whoa, yeah. All right. Um, piano, stereo piano and damper. Well, I don't know why they do plus damper because all pianos have damper anyway, but I thought maybe it made a damper sound, but nope. New harmonic, grand piano. Well, you know what? Let's go past these. Oh, that's nice. So you can pop these in your combis for a uh, sequence. Very nice.
Okay, well, these are all pianos. Um, so, you know what? Let's go zero, zero, enter, and let's see what's on B. Because I have a feeling that uh, that whole bank is going to be nothing but piano. So, that's bank A. We're on bank B. I guess it all starts off with bells, a lot of strings. Oh. 
Uh, it's a lot of crazy stuff, but you know, I can't wait. Um, you know, we got special effects, um, fast attack, you know, hits and stuff like that. And there's a ton of stuff, but you know what? Let's see. Yeah, 32 minutes. This video is long enough. So I wanted to turn you on a little bit of the uh, programs in the uh, the M50 song pack for the Chrome EX. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. hope you enjoyed it. Uh, very cool. And sorry about my rant on, but people who just like got to be nasty just for the sake of being nasty really torqued me off, you know? I like to maybe see them face to face and maybe they could express their opinion a little bit better. You know what I mean? And I would I would be more than happy to you know to show them with love my retort to their to their opinions. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's what I would say. So hey, God bless. See you when I see ya. And thanks for watching.